So one thing you might come across when you're using models from 3D Sky, for example, is when you open them up, you'll get a missing textures error. So we're going to use this model anyway to demonstrate how to do a product render. So I'm going to download this. You can use any model. So I'm going to open up the file and the first thing I'm going to do is hit render and you'll see that we have missing map files. So these are the texture files. So I'm just going to cancel that. So if I go into our material editor and use the eyedropper tool, you'll see that there is a bitmap in here, but Max can't find it. So the quickest way to deal with this issue is to go over to relink bitmaps here, download this. And if you're using Internet Explorer, then just make sure to rename the file to .mzp because it will download as a zip file and some people have had trouble with that. Now if we just drag and drop this in here, nothing will happen, but things are happening behind the scenes. You can right click up here, go to customize, and we're going to go to toolbars, and if we scroll down to Collins scripts here, you'll see relink bitmaps, and you can just click and drag and drop that here. And if you're having trouble clicking, dragging and dropping here, it's because you don't have a toolbar. This is actually my own toolbar. Um, to create one of them, just hit new, name it, whatever you want to call it. And you'll see it's here. And what you can do is drag your own scripts onto it. And then you can dock that wherever you like. So now if we hit relink bitmaps, this dialog box will pop up and it will give us a list of the missing files. And now all you've got to do is go to browse and then you go to wherever you downloaded the chair. So in your downloads, um, you don't actually have to choose a specific file because it can search subfolders as well. So I'm just going to hit where I've downloaded that and hit relink. And you'll see that they've disappeared and now the textures are showing. So that's how to relink bitmaps. So now our model is looking good. What I'm going to do is select it, hit copy turn, and hit copy. And this is how I copy and paste between scenes. So next up, I'm going to show you how to install Copita so you'll easily be able to copy and paste between scenes.